What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build series where today we are finally going to finish this kitchen. Almost. For the longest time this whole kitchen area below the counter has just been plywood squares and boxes with water heater visible, all the plumbing visible, all that. Not a lot of storage unless you just stack stuff in there. But today we're going to build a drawer boxes, we're going to install them on soft closed drawer slides, and we're also going to build and install our drawer faces and our handles, making the whole kitchen waist down pretty much wrapped up, which is going to be very exciting. The last part of the kitchen will come later once we do the bathroom, and that is the backsplash that will wrap around from the bathroom on the wall above the kitchen counter. So without any further ado, let's get to it and build some drawer boxes. Finally got the last drawer in in the middle stack. Haven't even gotten to the sink stack or the pantry or the far end. The far end won't have a drawer, it'll just be a cabinet door. Um, but it all fits. As with everything in this bus, none of it is perfect. But that's what happens when you do things for the first time. Um, but we now have six functional drawers. We got two big deep ones here in the bottom of the middle. And then this one, which will be the spice drawer, the rack from earlier that I mentioned. Then this one, silverware drawer, utensils. We got a big, super deep, huge storage space, mostly for a big pan, and then smaller cookware items, whatever. And then down here we have our little short stubby one that'll We'll see what goes in there. But all on soft clothes, all pretty flush. I hope it's flush enough when it comes time to put on our drawer faces. Otherwise, that's gonna look all kind of crazy, but you know, that won't happen until we're done with the rest of this. So <sighs> keep plugging away and making progress slowly. Now, the last spot, moving on to this vertical pantry. It's six inches wide and 23 inches deep and 31 about 31 inches tall so I'm gonna go make a vertical pantry it's gonna it's gonna operate on slides that are on the bottom and on the top so that when you pull it out it'll pull the whole way out and there'll be a shelf somewhere in the middle and I'll be able to store like tall bottle shaped and bottle sized things in there After getting all my drawer boxes built and installed last week, it is now time to work on drawer faces. I picked up another sheet of MDF, which will match the stuff that I put on my cabinet doors, and I've cut a whole bunch of squares and rectangles that fit the sizes of all my drawers. Um, I'm gonna do a quick sand on them, and then we're gonna set up a little painting station outside and start painting the edges and backs, and then I'll get the sprayer out and do a nice coat on the face and the edges as well to get them looking real crisp. So after a week of cold, wet weather, I was finally able to make myself a space with enough warmth and dryness to paint my drawer faces. And now I'm going to start reinstalling them. Uh, some of them already have screw holes in the back from when I test fitted them and put them on initially just to get some practice. So these two will be pretty straightforward, I think. 
Uh, so I'm going to start here and then work my way over that way. And it's going to get tough at the sink one because that has a cabinet door and then this other kind of flip out and then the pantry one's going to be a trick too, getting it to fit once all these are in. But we're going to start here. I have those two here in the bus already. So let's give it a shot and see how well these go. Look at that. We got handles on our drawers and our cabinets and the kitchen is looking whew, whew, so good. I am stoked about this. There's a few minor adjustments that I want to do still to some drawers so they don't catch the light the wrong way. Example here, this face sticks out farther than this face. So this edge is a bright white line. Same with here. So I think taking this drawer and trying to tilt it up just a tiny bit will one recede this edge but also bring out this edge. So that may fix the problem for both these spots by changing just one drawer. But besides that, look at this place. That needs a little stopper on it too so it doesn't recede back into the cabinet. But look, hooey, it's a lot of handles. But look at all this stuff, a little beep, beep, beep. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and like this video if you enjoyed seeing this kitchen come together. I'm stoked about these drawers and these cabinets. It gives a lot of storage room and it gives a really polished finished look to that kitchen area. Next up, bathroom. Thanks for watching. Tune in later. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.